everyone welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a half scale front bodies with dart manipulation okay so here the first thing we need is our basic bodies block the half scale so if you are yet to watch our video on how to draft a basic bodies block both the half and full scale I'll drop the links in the description box. You can go through that before you watch this video for clarity. Okay. So here is my front block for the half scale. We'll only be work, working on the front block. Okay. So the first thing we want to do on this is first you come to the neckline. And then you know our neckline for the basic bodies block is 3 by 3 for the front block. So you can adapt this to 3.5 for the width. So you increase the width by 0.5 inch and the depth by 1 inch. So here I use the width is 3.5 and the depth is 4 inch. So you can use whichever uh, width and depth you want. But for this I use 3.5 by 4. Okay. So come to the neckline and from the center front you mark 2 inch okay mark 2 inch from the center front on the neckline mark 2 inch like so so this is my 2 inch and then you come down from the neckline depth by 2 inch as well so what I'm doing here is marking 2 inch sideways and downwards okay so connect this with a slight curve to the boss point so i'll pick my curve ruler and then i will try and locate where i can get a slight curve on my curve ruler and then i'll connect that to the boss point like so i'm trying to locate my curve so that I can have it perfectly done. Okay, I think I've gotten it. You can use your free hand to draw this as well. Just make sure it is slight curve to the boss point. Okay, and the same thing I'll do on the other end. Okay, so I will try and locate a slight curve and connect it to the boss point. All right. So this is what we will do. You will do at first. So can you see a slight curve to the boss point here from the two inch? Okay. So after doing this. Then we we'll go ahead and close the bust dart. We we'll cut out our waist dart and then close the bust dart. So I'm going to cut out the waist dart. So invariably what we have done here at first is to connect this uh, two inch here and here, connect it to the apex of the dart. Okay. So I'm cutting out the waist dart. Okay, so after cutting out the waist dart, then we'll go ahead and close the boss dart so to do that i will slash here you can cut it out outrightly but, and then you can also close it this way can you see you can close it this way like so and then i'll be using my masking tape to cover up
so after closing our waist that then you cut out the excess on the side after closing the bust that rather you cut out the excess on the side after blending the side measurement placing your pattern on another pattern paper you decide to use a brown paper underneath make sure the center front is lying right at the edge of the paper like you have seen so the edge of my brown paper is equal to the center front at this end so you trace out the neckline that is the two inch width that we marked on the neckline you trace it out and trace out this shape as well so that's what i'll be doing and then i'll cut it out so here is the cut out shape so when you place it on your pattern, it should align with what you have there. Can you see? So this is what you do. So the next thing we want to do is to cut out this. So we are cutting out this center front to this end. So I will pick my scissors and then I will cut this out. So invariably we are sharing the block into two can you see so i'm separating this like this and then i'll bring the shape that we cut and then i will attach it to this end so i'm going to use either my gum or my masking tape i'll just make sure i attach this shape this shape here I'm attaching it, the shape we traced out, I will attach it to this end of the bodies. Why this is the second piece of our front bodies, this is the first piece, the second piece. So I'll do that then, I'll show you. So here is it. You attach it like so, can you see? And then this is the other end. So now we we'll draw slash line, we want to slash and spread this upper part, okay? of this piece we are going to slash and spread this upper part and also slash and spread this end of the other pattern this end so i'll pick another pattern paper but before i do that i'm going to rule two just two slash lines on this after placing this pattern on another pattern paper remember this end is on fold okay this end of the pattern is on fold as in the paper underneath is on foot, this two end is on foot. This is the upper part of our pattern and this is the waistline, okay? So, this is the center front. Make sure your center front is placed straight. We are not going to spread the center front. So, we are only moving these two slashes. So, I'm moving here and here. So, we are going to spread towards the side. We are not moving the center front, okay? The this center front, we are not moving it. We are only moving this one. So we are going to spread and make sure we have a width of 5 inch at the upper part. So from the end of the pattern here to this end should be 5 inch. So I'll move this and pin it down, move this and measure, making sure I have my 5 inch at the upper part. So here is it from this end to this end I have five inch can you see from here the end of the pattern from the center front to this spread part I have five inch so that's what you should be having so this is our new pattern we should be cutting out so I'm going to cut this out So here is our new pattern okay so when you open it up this is what you should have remember it was on full so this is the so we are done with this this is what we'll be cutting on our fabric and I will pick this second piece and draw slash lines on this end of this 
so i'm going to draw my slash line there and i'll draw it towards the armhole but i'm not getting all through to the armhole okay so i just two So after drawing the two lines, we are going to slash as well and spread on another pattern paper. Remember, this end also will be spread by 5 inch, just like we did for the other piece. So I'm slashing and then I'll spread it on another pattern paper. You can see I didn't cut through to the armhole, okay? About 0 0.5 inch to the armhole, I stopped pattern you place it on a folded paper so this end of my paper here of this brown paper is on fold this is the second pattern of the front bodies okay the second piece rather so from the center front from the center fold this fold i'm going to move away by 0 0.5 inch this is my pattern so i'll move away by 0 0.5 inch and then i'm going to spread this slash by five inch just like we did for this one so my spread here should be five inch so it should be equal to what i have on this pattern so this end can you see this our spread end should be equal like so can you see so i should be having five inch spread so i'm going to do that i'll spread this and make sure i have five inch here why I move away by 0 0.5 inch from the center fold from this fold okay and then I'll spread by 5 inch so from the end of the pattern here to this end I should be having 5 inch width okay so here I have a spread of 5 inch so from the end of the pattern here to this end I have 5 inch just like we had in the other piece of our front pattern so now we'll cut this out and this is our new pattern so i'm going to cut this here is our new pattern i'll open it up for you to see how it looks so when you open it up this is what you should be having now we'll be putting these two pieces together okay so when we place this on fabric we'll be adding 0 0.5 inch to this end of our pattern okay 0 0.5 inch. remember this is the waist this is the waist this is the waist here so 0 0.5 inch here at the side same we had one inch the armhole this is the armhole we add 0 0.5 inch and on the neckline at 0 0.5 inch so we'll be cutting this on fabric while we place on fabric also this will be adding you know this was like this this is our center front we're adding 0 0.5 inch here so 0 0.5 inch here 0 0.5 inch to the waist 0 0.5 inch to the center front those are the same allowances we are adding to this one okay why we cut on fabric all right so this will be transferring to fabric okay so here is our pattern on fabric this is for this this is the size seam of one inch seam allowance all other parts 0 0.5 inch the neckline the armhole this end and the waist 0 0.5 inch seam allowance remember the folded end where we spread okay we moved away by 0 0.5 inch why we wanted to spread so while you are cutting on fabric you move out the 0 0.5 inch can you see so you move it out so you can have your actual neckline okay so and then for the second piece this is the center front you're adding 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch to this end and 0 0.5 inch to the waist this folded end is intact like that so we'll move to the sewing of this now to sew this on this piece the center front we are going to join it we are sewing our 0 0.5 inch seam allowance 
okay so we sew it from the waist we close it up but when it's getting towards the folded end we're going to leave 0 0.5 inch space okay so i'll sew this now and then i'll show you so here is what i was explaining so from the waist you sew 0 0.5 inch the seam allowance we added to the center front sew it up and leave 0 0.5 inch space can you see so we are not closing it up entirely you leave a space here at the top now we are doing this on the wrong side of the fabric so now you turn it to the right side so when you turn it to the right side we have in the space can you see my finger okay so this is the right side now and this is how it looks so we are going to open this up this second piece this is the wrong side of this and this is the right side so so after turning it out you are going to dip the second one into this tiny hole you dip it in and bring it out Push it to the center. And then you'll be having this. Here is the neckline. Can you see? So this end of this piece will be joined to this end and this one will be joined to this. So we'll sew this end here to this end and we'll sew here to this end. Can you see? So I'll do that. I'm going to sew this here and also sew this to this to close it up. So here is the outcome. This is the last part we close here and here down so you close it up till you are not able to sew anymore so this is our manipulated neckline can you see how beautiful it looks this is just a rough work when you are doing it you make sure you knit the neckline before inserting that smaller piece you knit the neckline with your bias okay before inserting this smaller piece to form this so that brings us to the end of today's tutorial thank you for being part of it if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell in order to get awareness of our next video tutorial remember that we only did this on front bodies you are going to attach your back bodies to it to make a complete upscale okay so see you in our next tutorial bye